When's your birthday, Zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Libra. What do you do for a living? Um, right now, I'm an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Do you have children? Uh, I do. How many kids? I have five children. How old are you? God, damn. Ooh wee. Boy, she got, boy, she damn near got half a basketball team, don't you? Man, yo, if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. On a roll to 100K by the end of the year, let's get it. We gonna be reacting to a clip from Kendra G. Shout out to my subscribers, appreciate the love. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump back into it. What are your kids? Um, 20 months, nine months, six years old, uh, 13 and 16. 20 months, nine months, six years old, 13, and what else? 16. How many men? Um, technically four, but it's now three. Oh my God. Did somebody pass away? Uh, one is one is deceased, yeah. Oh, okay, but ultimately four men you have children by. Uh, yes. Does the three living. Month, does the 20 month and a nine month have the same father? Yeah. Why are, you, why are you not with him? Um, we're just co-parenting. Uh, he has, he has anger issues and other personal issues and I choose not to subject myself with that. Did he have them before you had two kids by him? Um, no, he actually, that's a good question. He just changed 10 months into the uh, relationship. And 10 months into the relationship, you have two kids, a 20 month old and a nine month old. So when right. did it change? Um, the day at the day that I had the twenty month old, when I came home three weeks later, that's when I could see the the next one. He was supposed to be helping me, and we uh, had a baby the same day I came back home from the hospital. And then you got pregnant by him again. Yeah, because he was supposed to be helping me. I was on bed rest instead of helping me. We conceived the nine, the now nine and a half month old. Okay. But but don't you see how that doesn't add up? So basically what you did is you had the first child, ignored the red flags like most women do, and then had another child. You stupid. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. Ladies, we would respect y'all so much more if y'all were just flat out honest with the truth instead of just trying to finagle y'all way around it. Let's keep it moving. If I had a chance to do it over again, um, I probably just would have had the one, not the two. Do you guys cope here well? Oh yeah, most definitely. Okay. All right, and what do you do? But we're you just not for each other. Not for each other. You said you're an entrepreneur, right? Right, I just started um, my LLC business like three months ago um, as a rideshare owner. And I have a retail store online as well. But other than that, right now, I'm just trying to take one day at a time because um, I had three heart attacks and one stroke um, after I had my last baby, which is the nine and a half month old. And so even though I could like get money, I can't really physically get money and leave the house as much. Yeah, I'm like judging by the judging by the L the extra LBs you seem to be carrying. It it shouldn't shock me that you can't physically leave the house too much. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to hell for that one. Uh, let's keep it moving. What happened? What caused you to have three heart attacks? I got beans, greens, potatoes. Obesity, diabetic, high blood pressure. Chicken, turkeys, rabbits. You name it. Um. I have hypertension, and when I was pregnant, um, I had induced hypertension, preeclampsia, and I was already kind of like a stroke risk and stuff like that. Um, I did um, wake up from a peaceful nap to a knock at the door. One of my family members showed up unannounced and just walked through my door. And for some strange reason, I felt like I was sinking in sand and quicksand, and I was slowly like losing oxygen. And I didn't realize that I had three heart attacks back to back. But by the time I um, called the ambulance, I already had my third one. And um, 
that was it. And then I they put me on cardiac uh, watch for two days because they were thinking I was going to have another heart attack. And they gave me morphine and medicine to control everything. And then labor and delivery spent the night um, in the cardiac arrest department. I have a high sex drive. Everything still works. I'm very oral. I squirt. Bruh. I have thick thighs. I have triple B chest. I'm a normal person. Everything works. The only thing is I can, I have trouble climbing the stairs and I walk short distances. Everything else works. I eat, I sleep, I laugh, talk like a normal person. I don't even know what to say for that, man. Let's, let's just keep it moving. What the fuck? You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Uh, 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 okay. Okay, for the description of the sexuality. Um, I guess what I was saying was, but you also said you can't really leave your home, right? Oh yeah, I can leave. Well, like I could leave my home, but it would have to be door to door transportation. I wouldn't be able to get up and walk or drive anywhere. I would have to get picked up by an Uber or Lyft or someone door right right there at the door. And then when I finish doing what I'm doing, I have to get back in the car. But I only leave my house maybe two, three times a week at most. But when I do, I have to at least um, give myself painkillers and try to practice and preserve energy before I leave. However, I live alone. I have a big house. Um, I'm very clean. I cook, you, live with you your know, children. I have a lot of, you live with your children. Is that fair enough to say? Um, I get help with the kids. Um, I, uh, the one of them has a registered nurse um, where she takes care of her around the clock because uh, she barely survives. She feeds off of a feeding tube. So she stays with the health nurse. And then I get um, child care for my other kids and my older kids are in school. So they're always busy with school and in other places. and. I have my own little program that I'm doing. I'm doing my business, my physical therapy. And at the same time, you know, we're all humans. Everyone could use a friend. Cause like right now I feel like within six months to a year, I probably should be right back to normal. And with that being said, the friendship that I build now, I can go to the, to the sky, sky is the limit. I don't have a problem doing normal people things. Um, I don't have a problem um, making money when I put myself to it. I mean, but at the same time, I'm not going to use that as a crutch and just be miserable. And and I'm not asking for anyone's, I'm not trying to ask for anyone's pity or sympathy or have someone try to help me. i just looking for a friend, somebody that I can build with. I know I'm a good person. The sky is the limit. Um, it could be a, I actually, to be honest with you, it could be potentially for a husband. I'm a one woman's man and I'm very good in the bedroom. I've had a set high sex drive for the last three years and I'm ready to go. Well, let me Point break blank. down. We've done a lot of things and I have asked you any of my regular questions. What kind of man are you looking for? An older guy, 36 years young um, and no more than 51. 36, 51, what's your deal breakers? What's your uh, deal, deal breakers? breakers are liars. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, deal breakers are liars. People who don't brush their teeth, don't shower, don't dress well. I love a great dresser. I love a person that's um, health conscious, um, at least trying to eat right and healthy. Doesn't have to be a, a workout, a holic or have muscles. Um, I'm, in, I'm into all sizes. You just can't be real skinny. Let me stop right there, cause this is this. Let me stop right there. Yeah, let me stop right there before I spaz. I'm, uh, mm -hmm. I'll just leave. I'm gonna just leave the link because I'm sure y'all gonna probably want to hear the rest of what she got to say. But I don't want to make this video too long, you guys. But I will say this: you got some damn nerve. I need somebody to be health conscious. You serious? Is it because you want a healthy mate or is it because you've been lacking so much on your health that you want that you want somebody to um, level things out for you? 
See, this is my thing, man, with, with, with women in the West. See, they wanna they wanna ask for they wanna ask for the things that they can't offer themselves or don't wanna offer themselves. It, even if they could. Crazy, bro. I was literally just having this conversation when I went live with um Minka um earlier. Crazy, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. Like Kendra G be having some characters on here, bro. Like, like all she doing is just doing a dating a dating show, and she's exposing the the hypocrisy and the delu the delusion, and she's not even trying for real. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification that way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the travel vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned to the comments. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.